Monday, the 1st of October, and we are doing the Leicester Half Marathon with a group of friends. First time running this half marathon since my very first one back in 2014, so it's nice to be back doing it. It's my local half marathon. We are aiming for a time of just under two hours, so trying to pace a couple of friends, which will be a new experience for me. Hoping that our fitness that we banked in the lead up to the Gothenburg Marathon will carry us through. We haven't done a great deal of running uh, in the last month compared to previous months, so we will just see how we get on. But yeah, we'll be doing a vlog throughout the run, hopefully taking in some of the race experience. So let's get going. <laughs> Squirrels, hold on, well done, hold on. Oops in Phoenix. And we are off. Currently just run out of Victoria Park. <laughs> Running down. London Road, which is a quite nice downhill to start. Probably running faster than the average pace that you want to set at this stage. But yeah, just settling into the pace. I feel a bit responsible for setting the pace today for my group of friends. As I say, a lot of them trying to hit around that two hour mark, so I'm trying to pace us to that. So feeling a little bit of pressure, but see how we get on. We are three kilometers in. We have just hit the Golden Mile of Leicester. So we are heading out of the city now, up towards Watermead Country Park, where we do the park run there on Saturdays on occasion. Slightly ahead of the pace that we need to be at at the moment, we're hitting about 5.30. We are aiming for, by the time it finishes, around 5.40. But everyone feels quite comfortable at the moment, so we're just going with the flow. Yeah, five kilometers in, still ahead of where we need to be, still hitting just under 5.30, average pace, and amazingly we've been joined by my friend Adam who missed the start so he's managed to catch us up, which is great. We are running up to a village called Thermiston, yeah, then we are running up past everyone's favourite cash and carry, Costco, and then into Watermead Country Park. All feeling good. We are nine and a half kilometers in and we've just entered Watermead Country Park which you might be quite familiar with if you're either from around here or you've seen any of my other videos that features quite a lot it's one of the places we run around reasonably often so yeah this is coming up to the 10k point we're still doing well for pace we're currently averaging 530 so we're still ahead of where we need to be yeah just keeping on going we are 13 kilometers in, currently running through the village of Bairstall. Dropped off the pace a touch, we're still absolutely fine for where we need to be. We are currently averaging about 5.33 a kilometer, so as long as we can stay closer than that, we'll be absolutely fine. We've lost one of our pack. Unfortunately, pulled up with a bit of an injury. Hopefully they'll kind of be able to walk run it to the end. We're still keeping up with the two hour pack try and bring people in at just under two. 15k in, an hour, 22 minutes. And we're keeping a pace of about 5.33 per kilometre, which is great, it's ahead of where we need to be, as I said. We are between Watermead Park and Abbey Park. This route is very familiar to me. It's the half marathon training route that I've adopted most frequently this year. So nice to be running on some very familiar Pat running group. It's down to me and Joe. <laughs> uh, we are still aiming for just under two hours. So we're trying to keep the pace to get to that window. And as I said at the moment, we're doing all right. We are 16 and a bit kilometers in. We have come into Abbey Park, which is probably my favorite park in Leicester. Very picturesque. We've started coming and doing park run here quite regularly so if you want to see 
bit more of the park than you're going to see on this video today. Go back and watch that video. We are less than a park run to the finish. So we just need to keep telling ourselves that. Try and get Jerome over the line. Sub two hours. We are just over 18 kilometres in. We've come out of Abbey Park now. We're now entering the city centre part of the route, which is always quite nice. I don't know if they've changed this part of the route much, but you run in and around a high cross shopping centre through the main shopping streets of Leicester, normally to a reasonable amount of applause from the Sunday shoppers. Okay, so we are just over 19 kilometres in. Not far left to go, but we are approaching Newark, which is, I guess, our version of Boston Marathon's Heartbreak Hill, the final mile, and it's all uphill. It's a bit of a leveller, so I always feel like it's good to have banked a little bit of pace coming up to this point. But yeah, we're going to try and finish strong. We are still well within where we need to be. Pace rise. Yeah, it's a strong finish. I think I've got Jane safely in under two hours. So we are giving it beans to the end. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, Simon. Well done, Simon. You're very well. Smash it. And we have finished in one hour, 55 minutes and 55 seconds. So best part of four minutes ahead of schedule, whether that is a sign of me being a bad pacer or actually um, being a good pacer, running with some people who are aiming for just over two hours, some, some just trying to get two hours. And Jerome, who I've just been running with the whole way, said he was aiming for about 2.10 and we got him in in 1.56.45. So really pleased with that, really pleased for him when we got to New York and I was confident that Joe was all right on his own for the time. I uh, put myself into a little bit of a different gear for the end bit. The run generally felt good. I had a little bit from about six kilometers up to 10 kilometers where I had a little bit of a stitch, which is not really typical for me. I don't get that kind of thing very regularly. That kind of subsided um, as we got into the kind of second half of the race started to also develop something which might be a blister on one of my right toes but we will assess the damage with that it might be absolutely fine hopefully will be as this time uh, next saturday we have got another half marathon in snowdonia so a bit of a different experience bit of a different pace uh, on the trails up in snowdonia so uh, get liked subscribed to the channel if you like these videos and want to follow me on my running adventures. So until next time, see you later. See ya.